Today we're going to do some harvesting for some turnips. Now, when turnips are harvested, you can harvest them for either their bulbs or the greens or you know or both. But we're going to harvest the greens in a few bulbs. Okay, these are turnip greens, and the turnips are at the bottom, as you can obviously see. We are going to um, cut these greens to about a couple, a couple of inches above, leaving just enough there so new greens can grow, and then, um, then at some point we'll harvest the, the bulbs. They say that these turnip greens, when you grow them in the in the fall, that they are sweeter to the taste. I guess we'll find out. It means that I have to hear it from other people because I won't be eating them. Okay, well, we got most of these greens done, picked, cut off. Hopefully with what we've done cut up, um, we are going to hopefully get some more greens here in the next few weeks. We're gonna take these, we're gonna take these and take them inside, prepare them, clean them, blanch them, and get ready hopefully for dinner. Dinner for one of these weeks. What we're doing is we're gonna cut these stems off about halfway up to where it's mostly leaf. Put the stems off to one side, and then we're just gonna just start washing them. Start trying to rinse any kind of dirt grind that's on them so that you sure as heck don't want it in your your greens and when you eat them, you eat down something crunchy. Okay, well, we've got all of our turnip greens uh, cut up into bite-sized pieces. Now, we do have collards that are waiting to be prepared as well, and they'll be prepared just the same way. But we got our pot of boiling hot water. Uh, once it starts boiling, then we'll take all these and we'll put them into the uh, pan or the pot to be blanched and you blanch it for three uh, three minutes and the reason why you do that is it helps to break down the enzymes that are in the actual plant itself same thing with like green beans that we did in, in the other video and it helps stop uh, the the culture that's in it uh, kind of kills off any bacteria as well but also it you blanch them or when you blanch them like that for three minutes it also keeps the flavor in the actual uh, vegetable itself. So once it's done boil for three minutes and then we spread it out on the sheet, and you know, some people will do it differently, it depends on where you're from, what family you're from. Uh, some probably will put salt inside uh, this here in, uh, while they're blanching it. Uh, and some will do it after the fact. Um, it depends on your cooking style. Um, and, but beans, I don't really cook these. Now, the information I get is from my mother-in-law and my wife and uh, my mother. Um, but this is what they do. And um, it has helps lock in the flavor until you're ready to cook them. Okay, the water is now boiling. So we're going to take, you know, take these. Oops, don't lose them. You know, and throw them in. Just throw them in here. And probably we'll try to get all the stuff in as we can. And, and we'll slot them out. We'll take the slotted spoon and we'll be able to dip them out and put them out here to, you know, dry or cool them down. Let's get these puppies in here. Oop, don't want to fry it. Mm. You can definitely smell, smell a difference in that compared to the collards has that and it could have been because it was on that burner <laughs> all right so we'll take this and just kind of dump them in there and let them start to boil because once you done dumped them in there once you done dumped them in there um, you gotta get the water back boiling again or just leave them in there for about three minutes once you put them in and then pull them out all right three minutes is up gonna turn down the heat and then pull it off and we're gonna take these greens slide spoon 
try to drain most of the water off as much as we can. And then we'll just oops, try to spread her out. But let's get this stuff out of the water first okay, and get it drained. So this is how we prepare the greens after we done picked them from the garden. So go out in your garden, pick a few greens and give it a try. See you later.